everybody i haven't spoken to y'all in a couple of days i just been ugh, in the mood or whatever yes i got my bonnet on it's the daytime i'm trying to get this video in before i go to work i just finished watching ooh, excuse me you know big i just finished watching um candy ski trip i guess this is like what is episode two because we skipped the week because uh, um Gandhi and Mandisi's wedding or whatever and I'm sorry I ain't doing my hair yet I'm trying to get my life together before work or whatnot and I'm cooking and just too many things going on um this second episode was pretty good it was a pretty good episode it's still the same drama going on with the OLG aka the old lady gang or whatever but not too much this time this time is the battle of the um the assistants so the episode starts off with um after Candy had was crying and everything, they were telling her how she felt. They basically talked about her not being around, her changing and everything like that. And she came back to Todd and that's her husband and she spoke to Todd about it. And I don't see nothing wrong with that. Because that is her husband. That's what you do. Ooh, I'm sorry, y'all. Jiggling a little too much too. But um um, yeah, and I feel like, um, Todd is saying the same thing I said. Like, things change when you're married. You are a married woman, and that's it. There's nothing more to say about it. He said the same thing I said, and which is true, or whatever. And, um, that's it. He let no know. Now, he feel like they should address it, but Candy's like, nah, we're gonna wait till some other time. I, I know Candy's just tired of arguing back and forth, back and forth between her small family and her extended family and ain't no men around that's the problem too it's like we need some men around all this cackling and bickering back and forth it's getting on my damn nerves and it's just it's just annoying or whatever so we cut to the assistants because basically that's what this episode about and matthew was on point to me what i've always heard and read about and seen about assistants He's an assistant. He's on point. Now, Don Juan, someone he kissing ass. Don Juan is not the assistant, but um, he's a general manager of Candy Coated, whatever. He should actually have his, if that's the case, he should have his own assistant. If he's so busy being a general manager, he should have someone under him, his assistant. Now, Carmen is Candy's personal assistant. She don't, what I've seen, she don't do is half the stuff that he do. And, you know, they, maybe he's a little bit, you know, ass kisser, but that's what he get paid to do. But he's on point with his shit. He's trying to get everything, the schedule and everything together with for them. And, um, he's talking to them and they just in there some drinking. And, um, I understand that Carmen is your buddy, Don Juan, but she's still candy assistant and she don't do the shit she's supposed to do. And you had to admit to it later on in the episode. Now, or oh, whatever. Um, the next morning, when they get up and everything like that, um, they talking about breakfast and everything. And Candy, um, Candy and um, Mama Joyce is cooking and all this other stuff, but it wasn't enough. Matthew went food shopping, but, you know... It wasn't enough food. And it's not his fault because they're both assistants. They're supposed to be going together. And um, when Karma finally get up, she's like, oh, thanks for waking us. You didn't let us. It ain't no food for us. It wasn't enough food because you left it all to Matthew. And that's the problem. Yeah, he um, he's supposed to take care of his um, his boss and his supervisor, his, his boss, his employer before you, um, before you anyway, because you're the one who's supposed to be taking care of Candy. So she's trying to throw Matthew on the bus because he ain't buying enough food. Well, he ain't buying enough food, so Candy let her, Candy let her know about herself. Well, you should have went with him. N now what? She ain't had nothing to say to that. She ain't have shit to say to that because it's true. Or whatever. So everybody was divided up. The old lady gang went with Matthew shopping. He said, I'll take one for the team. You know, it's okay. Hang shopping with some senior citizens. And then everyone else went skiing. Um, who went skiing? So it was, you know, Ty, Candy, Don Juan, Carmen, um, Ray. That's um, Todd's brother. And I believe... Um, and that was it. They all went skiing, having a good time. <laughs> and Todd's brother, Ray... He got, he, he fell, he fell to get on the, like the little lift. It's like a little conveyor belt to take you on the top so you can go down skiing. He fell before he got on. I saw that coming because he's all lean, like doing this. I knew he was going for it. That was funny. But it seemed like they had a good time skiing or whatever. Um, Kayla ass was 
uh, holding on to Todd's assistant or whatever. And like um, Candy said, when he, um, Matthew set up instructors for everybody, it was like a group of instructors, instructors for them to go skiing because no, they never done that before. And I thought it was a good idea for them to go skiing because everybody's out of their element. So maybe they'll bring them together, you know, blend it and blend the family more or whatever. And, um, that's what Katie said. Sometimes I wish that um, Carmen was a little bit more like Matthew. He's on point. That's what an assistant is. And Todd should give him a goddamn bonus. Because he's on his shit. For real. He does what assistant's supposed to do. And, you know, that's it. Basically it. But they had a good time. But um, here go Mama Joy saying, like, I think that Carmen should have hang out with us and took us shopping instead of Matthew. But Matthew's fine. He's what you call an assistant. I'm like, all right, Mama Joyce, you got that right. That's for sure. So they went to some hat place and um, they were shopping. And, and the aunts are saying that I like Marshalls and whatever and Macy's. But this store is nice. So they were trying on hats and they looked cute on them. It looked like they were having a good time. And Mama Joyce sat down with um um Aunt I can't remember my Uncle Joe's wife's name. But you know, she seemed like a real nice woman. She came along with them shopping because you know <laughs> they they don't want to be caught up in no skin and stuff. And she was talking to her and it seemed like Mama Joyce changed. It seemed like she changed. But I know it's some underlining underneath that or whatever. She said she bought something for her granddaughter. She said, since I have two now, you know. I'm like, mm-hmm. She's, she tried to get that old lady on her side. Auntie, um, Todd's auntie on her side. That's what the fuck it looked like to me. But she ain't fooling nobody. Mama Joyce needs to stop or whatever. So after skiing, the men hung out. It was Todd, his Uncle Joe. And um, his brother Ray, they all hung out because he was like, it's too many women. And I get it. It's just too much bickering and shit going back and forth. And he was talking about what him and Candy talked about, how they saying Candy change and all this other stuff. And Weenie, um, cousin Weenie was acting like a damn fool. Like she was just too extreme. And usually she's the sweetest one. And he's like, usually I, as a far as a woman to talk to, I usually talk to my mother and she's not here no more. And he started getting choked up and I wanted to cry too. I felt so bad because that's what they need. They need another hardcore woman up in there to wreck all that. And it seemed like Uncle Joe's wife, his auntie, is not like, um, Todd's auntie is not like that. She's a very Christian, a real Christian woman who just like, you know, she chooses her battles. She don't want to start no mess. She don't want to be in no mess. And that's understandable. But he need him another BX mama up in there to wreck all of that. Because them aunties, I cannot take them. I just I just can't take them. Or oh, whatever. Um, okay, so after skiing, um, after skiing and shopping, they all was going to play a game and everything. And Todd, his uncle, and his brother came. They waiting on them to play some game. And Matthew has something set up as usual. He's like, so what you want to do? Truth the dare, charades. And Candy said, let's do charades. So it was the young people against against the older people or whatever. And um so it was Don Juan Carmen, Todd and Candy and Weenie, right? Then on the other side it was Mom, Mama Joyce was up because her sisters were asleep. Mom no, maybe Weenie was with Mama Joyce, Uncle Joe. Mama Joyce, Uncle Joe, um, Todd's brother Ray was there. And I believe they, I'm not sure what happened, but I think the older, the older team won or something. I couldn't remember. But it was cute. It was fun. It was, it was fun. It looked like they had a good time doing it or whatever. And then Matthew was like, all right, it's getting kind of late because we got an early start in the morning. Let's all go to bed. That was kind of funny because everybody was looking at him like he was <laughs> like a chaperone. But I understand. He's like, listen, I need to get my schedule my life together with, okay? So... <laughs> So then Todd was like, before all that, I just want to address Weenie about what she was saying or whatever, right? And um, here go Weenie, starts, she get on hype or whatever. He's like, you know, we're trying to do this. This is the first time that we're able to do this. We're trying to make this work with, between all of us. And then here go Weenie. She's sitting up in the couch and she's like, I took a week off of work for this. And it's like, well, you took a vacation. It's a vacation off. You get paid vacation, right? You get, I mean, I'm sure you got vacation days, so you still got paid for it. That's number one. Number two, you ain't got shit to do for a week. So, weenie, please sit, have a seat. Number three, it's a free vacation. You come good on both ends. You still probably get a regular check because you got vacation days. 
and you took a free trip. You ain't had to spend no money but whatever if you want to buy souvenirs. You didn't you have to buy food. All you had to do is buy souvenirs and show up and pack your bag. What are you bitching about? It's a free vacation. Yeah, granted, Colorado's cold. It's a ski trip. You need to be somewhere where it's snow. But it's a free trip outside of Atlanta, Georgia. That's it. I don't want to hear no more about it. I don't even want to hear nothing at all about it. There's nothing you can really say. And then, for some, she's talking about Todd being defensive. He's like, I'm calm. Like, I'm just... This um talking about how I feel, telling you how I feel, and addressing you. She's like, no, but you may be calm, but you very defensive. I'm, I'm like, uh. and then Mama Joy's getting into like, yes, you sound calm, but you're defensive. And then she just came out of left field talking about, you know what your uncle did? You know what Uncle Joe, uncle Joe did when y'all came in? He came over and kissed his wife. When you came in, you went and got you a beer. What the hell does that got to do with anything? What does that got to do? No, he didn't kiss her. Okay? Like, they have an understanding only they understand. And that's okay. That's how it is. I've heard that saying a long time ago. Sometimes a man and a woman, or whoever in a relationship, have an understanding only they understand. If Candy ain't saying that, why are you saying something? You mad he ain't kiss you in the mouth? Mama Choice, get on my damn nerves. Mama Choice, get on my damn nerves sometimes. And then, you know, and it just calmed down after that. We was talking or whatever. Candy was annoyed because Todd brought it up. She wanted to take care of it. But no, he he was chilling with his brother and uncle and wanted to talk about it. And he felt he needed to say something. And he did. And that's it. He, he said something or whatever. And it ended off on a good note or whatever the case may be. Next day, they took those snow. They looked like um, jet skis but for snow. And everybody and everybody went that time. Um, even the mom, mom, um, even the aunties went or whatever. They were on the backs of people or whatever. But yeah, that seemed like they had a real good time. So after that, they came back for dinner or whatever. And they, everyone's talking and Matthew's trying to figure out what what we're gonna do. And he was passing our little toothbrushes because I guess they was eating pork and it's in their teeth. Granted, if he started picking in his damn mouth, or he had a toothpick in his mouth in front of everybody, which is kind of rude. He should have did that in the bathroom or covered his mouth or something. Granted. But he thinks about everything ahead of time. And I think that's what a real assistant does. He thinks way ahead of time. He's like, listen, we're going to be eating pork. Let me make sure I got these little flossy things, some toothpicks, so they can pick all that barbecue and whatever out their mouth or whatever. And so they at the table, and, you know, um... Don Juan and Carmen over there told him he kissing ass, blah, 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 all this other stuff, right? And they were doing, throwing mad shade towards him in front of him, in, in front of Riley. And Riley was like, oh, my God. Like, she couldn't take it. Like, y'all over here talking about Matthew. <laughs> Riley picked up on this. And she's like, fuck that. My mama candy, so I can say whatever I want to say. She said, she was like, you know, you guys are making fun over him about him being sick, but this is what assistants do, and you guys are not assist you're better assistants than him, basically. Everybody's like, oh. She was like, well, Don Juan, you're in the, but Riley cleaned it up a little bit. She was like, well, you're not assistant Don Juan, but Carmen, you are, and you don't do the stuff he do. He's a real assistant. I was like, yo, even her, her little ass know what's real, and that was hysterical. So basically, they were going and they, they were they were just talking about that, and then Mama Joyce, Mama Joyce chimed in. He's like, "I'm Team Riley on that because the stuff I've seen him do, you don't do, Carmen or whatever." And Carmen had to basically defend herself, talking about, "Oh, you don't come around, so you don't you'll see what I do and blah blah blah." But she's been um, her assistant for a very long time. And then when Matthew was talking to us, he was like, mm, "Zawan, bye, girl." Carmen, bye girl. Matthew, hello girl. He had me dying. And I don't care if you call it a kiss ass or whatever, but he's on point. To me, I think he's really on point. And um, <laughs> Riley was reading them. They were, she, Riley, Riley was reading them. And she was annoyed with them. So that made it even better that a child told you, Carmen, that you're not doing what you're supposed to do because she know what an assistant is. So, you know, after dinner, everybody went to their separate cabins or whatever. And Don Juan and Carmen was upset. And they were talking about it back and forth. And while they're talking about it, 
Candy walks in was like, well, damn, what I it was tension was weird. Karma was like, um, Candy was like, what I walked into. So they start explaining about how they feel they always got to explain something to their family who what their do, their role and their duties are, or whatever. And Candy says she's done it. And why do you feel you have to do it? You know what you do. Why are you being so defensive, basically? And I feel the same way. If you do what you're supposed to do, I got to explain nothing to you. Because I know what the fuck I'm doing. Mind your business. Simple as that. I wouldn't tell them that because I want to disrespect those old ladies. But I know what I'm doing. Candy knows what I'm doing. And I'm getting paid for what I do. Keep it pushing. But you know you slack. You know you slack or whatever. And then Candy start getting all hype. When Candy get hype, y'all better y'all better watch out because that's when all the truth come out. She don't care. Ain't no smiling. Ain't no crying with Candy. She goes in, and she was like, "Don Juan, don't sit up here and tell me you told you haven't had that she hasn't been the best assistant or she doesn't do what she's supposed to." He was like, "Well, oh, she messed up." And he was like, "Well, I messed up too." And she was like, "You know," she said, "We all met." He's like, "We all messed up." I was like, "See." Candy was like, listen, you, listen, you just gave the generic answer, basically, or whatever. How many times with the schedule she done messed up, and you done told the matter of fact, I don't even ask her about it, I just do it myself. And, you know, Don Juan felt bad, he was like, yeah, you know, you that is true. But, yeah, you know, speak, speaking your truth, and it all, <laughs> it will set you fucking free, or whatever. And, you know, I guess that was basically it, or whatever. And, you know, um, Mama Joyce and Carmen still have their beef or whatever the case may be. And, um, and, um, Candy said, well, maybe you need to talk to my mother, like, um, Todd did. They did a one-on-one thing. And that seemed like that helped. So, you know, that's basically what happened. So next episode, that's what's going to happen. They're going to talk one-on-one. And we'll see what happened. And I think the real Mama Joyce that she's been hiding, the pit bull type mouth face lady she is. That's what's really going to come out next episode. So far, so good. I'm not too too thrilled about how this is going because, like I said, they're always ganging up on Candy and always blaming Todd. That's the premise of the show, and it just pissed me off. And they're trying so hard to make them come together, and they just, they're just so annoying, and they annoy me, and I just can't do it. I'm not here for it. But besides that, it was a pretty good episode. It was a pretty good episode, so... Yeah, I hope you continue watching. I'll continue watching, and hopefully I'll be on point with my review, my videos on it, or whatever. So, you know what you guys gotta do. Subscribe, like, comment, and share.